In 2014, protesters took to the streets, demanding a more transparent election in Hong Kong. They carried umbrellas as a form of passive resistance and occupied major roadways for 79 days. The 2014 umbrella movement was followed by the 2019 anti-extradition law protests. Ten years ago, I was a student activist, a student leader. So now I'm a political exile, uh, like I'm mostly based in the U.S. My name is Ivan No. In 2014, I am the vice chairman of the Hong Kong Federation of Students. My name is Leo. 2014 is like a enlightenment to me. In 2019, I assist in building Roblox. Then I become a driver to transport those protesters. I'm Jackie Chan. I've been a social worker for about 20 years. I was arrested and charged with WOW on uh, 31st uh, August 2019. I'm Ronson Chan. I'm a journalist in Hong Kong. Many protesters were motivated by an expectation that the former British colony was supposedly guaranteed political autonomy for 50 years following its return to China in 1997. This arrangement was called One Country, Two Systems. But the crackdown from Beijing was severe, and life has changed for many involved in the movements. So my active participation in encouraging like well, my fellow students in taking part in like a referendum, in different kind of political campaigns, in different kind of educational initiative. I was then like well uh, persecuted and, and being put like well behind bar in jail in 2017 for my involvement uh, in the umbrella movement. I was uh, pretty much like well pretty much like mentally tortured, being physically separated with my family, seeing my mom coming into prison, visiting me, seeing them crying, being heartbroken. Uh, coming out from prison, uh, seeing people in support of like the political prisoners going to the street, and also like well the dying down of the movement. Those are also moments for me to reflect on like well uh, how much personal toll and social toll we will have to uh, we will have to bear as an individual of Hong Kong. So I myself move away from Hong Kong in 2018. I pursued a doctoral degree in the U.S. so that one day I might return to Hong Kong to support my fellow citizens in recapturing the government in a more sustainable way. I was a nursing student back in 2014. Uh, the point that I changed my road is because when 2019 happened, I saw someone very young who were injured. I'm already a nurse at that point. When I was off duty, I would try to go out and do some first aid work. You'll be shocked by how young they are. It's quite traumatized when you're seeing some young people being beaten. University campuses became a battleground between the police and protesters. Riot officers tried to clear bunkered students and protesters. Most of them were young people. The Beijing government called the protesters thugs and accused them of attempting to turn Hong Kong into an independent or semi-independent political entity. Then we're trying to basically form up a union. 2021, we received a letter from other union that they got the same letter in the committee in the union that they got arrest. At that point, I decided to leave. When you decided to leave, it's a decision like abandon all the friends that are still fighting or staying. The city has experienced a pronounced exodus. Estimates range as high as 500,000 people. The Hong Kong government has placed million-dollar bounties on political activists who have fled overseas. If I have to sum up the past four years since I left Hong Kong, it would be I've hit the rock bottom. I came to the U.S. in 2020 to seek political asylum and the hardest time was the waiting for a work permit. I couldn't find a job. I couldn't find a proper place to live. I feel like I uh, I betrayed my friend back in Hong Kong and I started to blame myself. Eventually I realized that it's just 
it's just depression. <laughs> I received counseling. I was able to connect with other exiles, and I was able to start to heal myself. We had a group of social workers. Uh, we call us、uh, battle social worker because in our usual、uh, work、uh, field,、um, we, we we always handle different kinds of crisis case.、Uh, after twelve June two o one nine. Uh, we find that、uh, the emotion of police, well, some police,、um, are out of control. Therefore,、um, we hope that、um, to alert the police,、uh, not to use the excessive force、uh, to the people. I was arrested and charged with while on thirty、uh, first、uh, uh, August two o one nine. If I lose the case at this time, I will go to jail. <laughs> the government's response seems to be increasingly punitive. Chan said she's seen many cases of people charged with rioting merely because they showed up at the scene of protests. There are, are more influence、uh, on my career. I've seen the social worker registration board had、uh, held my renewal of social worker license. Then no long governmental、uh, organization would employ would employ me. This is a a, a winter for the. Local journalists, because、uh, the Apple Daily closed, Jimmy Lai and the senior management of Apple Daily had been arrested, and then the close of the、uh, Sun News, the and, and including two editors in chief, were arrested. It really, really a high risk for Jan- journalists association at that moment. Chan burned many of his reporter notebooks, and I burned all away. Because if I keep it, I'm afraid that it they will be collected by somebody. Chen stepped down as head of the Hong Kong Journalists Association in 2024. His successor, Selina Chang, says she was fired from the Wall Street Journal for her role with the organization. Dow Jones, which publishes the newspaper, refused to comment on individuals. The Hong Kong story is also a global story. The diaspora's effort, like across different host countries, are critical in defending democracy. And those collective effort would also like a channel back to the future policy making and institution building, the form of government that will be taking inheriting, like well in Hong Kong, where we might be able to return home one day. There was one time a friend visited me in New York, and I told them that.、Um, If I were passed away in a foreign country, I would like them to bring back my ashes to Hong Kong <laughs> because I would like to die in Hong Kong. I can travel overseas, yeah, because、uh, my passport was taken away by the court. I also need to prepare my mother to accept that、uh, if I am lost in the retrial. But、uh, I'm lucky that、uh, I have five years to help her to prepare. People who are actively involved before will have lots of trauma. We may need to explore some healing. For for me, actually, to live a normal life, you kind of hiding those memories and hiding those emotions. Yeah, I have phobia on、um, pepper spray. For example, I may dream. Dreamed,、uh, I was in my secondary school, and I saw my、uh, students that they trying to protest on the road and get、uh, got the attack from the、uh, tear gas. To be honest, I I don't have any views on the future. Honestly, I don't have it. I'm just. Try to survive day by day. I still hope that when we cover the news, we can also cover what ha- what happened, and trying to make the people don't forget them.